Hi, it's Jai here from BeyondWiz. Today I'm going to take you through upgrading the software on your BeyondWiz uh, via USB. So this, this video applies to the T-Series, uh, T2, T3, T4 and also the new U4. Um, so I'll take you sort of step by step through the whole process. Now, now you might need to update your firmware via USB for different reasons. You might have installed a rogue plugin that's that's caused your box to continue to crash. Um, we might have a major update that's going from a major uh, going from a, a major release or, or a different version, say from 16.1 to, to 17.5 or so forth. I mean, you need to upgrade via USB to do that, or you just want to make sure that your system's all sort of up to date and so forth you might have purchased a couple of years ago um, but rather than do online updates which may be too big uh, the way to go is to do a fresh USB update and sort of start again anytime you do a USB update it's not going to delete your recordings on your box so you don't have to worry about that um, but as I say if you move from a, a major version so if we move from 16.1 to 17.5 you want to make sure that you don't restore from backup so so once you install an update the first thing it's going to do when it reboots into the setup wizard if you've created a backup it's going to ask you if you want to restore now if it's a major ber version or you're upgrading because you've had problems it's always best not to restore from update uh, sorry not to restore from backup so you need to press no for that so again this will not delete your recordings but it will you will have to go in and set your timers again and your favorites and and sort of all your little settings but look that doesn't take much time so it's definitely definitely worth it so um and once you do once you do that once you once you go through the setup again and get everything set up again then you create a new backup just so you've got it there okay so the first thing you want to do obviously when you when you want to do the upgrade is to download the upgrade for your machine. So if you just go to our website beyondwiz.com.au, click on the downloads link at the top of the page. <clears throat> That's going to open up the different products for downloads. So today we're going to use the U4 as an example, um, but obviously if you've got your other your other models, just follow the model um, that you've got. So we click on the U4 and then we've got the firmware here. So this is the version we're going to use to upgrade for today. When you see this video, there's most probably going to be a later version, but we're going to click on that. And when you click on it, you'll see that it'll start downloading. So I'm using Chrome today as an example, um, and I'm on Windows. Obviously, if you use um, different browsers, it'll appear in different locations. I think I had an example of that. Here you go. Um, so Chrome is obviously downloading in the corner. If you're using IE Internet Explorer, it'll bring a box up the bottom or Firefox. It'll just give you that sort of download link at the top. And if you click that drop down, most of them, I think, go to your downloads folder. So that's where it's going to end up, and depending on what your settings are. Um, we, we don't use um, Apple here at all, so I, I don't know too much about um, iOS, but I do know that um, that that I think their downloads in... Um, in Safari, um, come up the top here. There's a little sort of downloads bar, and you click on that, and it gives you the drop down. And again, the locations you should be able to find that pretty easy on on where that's downloading. Um, if in doubt, just go to your search bar and search the name of the uh, the firmware. If you type in Beyond Wiz Dash 17.5, for example, um, you should be able to locate that um, pretty easily. Okay, while that's downloading, let's get our USB set up to uh, to accept this this file. So let me just bring up my USB stick here. So here we're using, I'm on um, USB drives K. So the things we need to try and make sure here is that um, it's in the correct format, first of all. Um, so if you're using a new USB stick or you've got an old one, it doesn't matter if there's anything else on the stick. I'm just using a fresh stick here because I've recently formatted it. And we're going to format it again in a sec. But, but if, there's, if there's a stick you've got and there's other things on it, it doesn't matter too much. It just matters that when we create this folder, you'll see, or when we download this folder in a minute, you'll see that we just need to make sure it goes on the root of the drive. And whenever we talk about root of the drive, we mean the top level of the drive. So when you click into that drive, that's the top level. So if there are other folders in there, you, you don't want to drill down to any folders you always want to want to put it on the root of the drive so let's check this format now to, to, to see what format your drives in so you've got other things on it you don't want to necessarily format if you right click on it and go properties you can see this one's already on fat 32 and that's the format we actually want it to be in fat 32 if you see any other format what we want to do is we want to format the drive now so this is where if you've got other things on the drive copy them off and let's do a fresh format of the drive so if you just right click um, on the drive down on the on the nav bar on the left there and then click format you'll see that you've got an options here to do different formats so if it's already an XFAT or NTFS 
NTFS, um, then you want to click on FAT32 default. Everything else you can pretty much leave as default there, you don't really have to set anything, and you just want to do a quick format, so go start. This is going to work, um, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time in that format. Um, if it doesn't work, it's usually go to another stick and try it. Okay, so that's all formatted now. So let me bring that back up. Um, where are we? Okay, okay. There we go. So that drive's got nothing else on at the moment. You can see down the bottom our upgrade's finished as well. So to, f to, to go to the upgrade, I just go to show in the folder and it should show me the downloads folder as you see there. Now let me bring up this other folder again. Um, the simplest thing to do, you can do it a few different ways. You can you can unzip it on on your wherever you download it to. So this is in the, my downloads folder, for instance. You can unzip it there, or you can drag it across to the stick and unzip it. Um, what we're probably best, or you can unzip it to the stick. What we're probably just going to do is we're just going to extract it, and we're just going to extract it to the downloads folder. So See, th what this means here is that it's going to actually extract it to the downloads folder, but it's going to put it in another folder of the same name as the the USB um, zip file, So I, I should say. So if we delete that part and then extract, it's going to create the folder we actually want to put on the stick. So if you see another folder by the, that same name and then the VMware's folders inside that, the one we want to transfer across is the folder name BeyondWiz. That's the only thing we want to transfer. It has to be like that or it won't actually start the upgrade. Because basically the bootloader is looking for a folder called BeyondWiz and it's looking for another folder inside that folder to identify it as being for that particular model. And I'll show you that in a sec. So what we're going to do is we're going to simply drag and drop that across. Like so. Okay, that's across now. So this is exactly what we want to see when we're upgrading. So we want to make sure that it's in the root of the drive. The drive's in a FAT32 format. And the folder that we've transferred across is called BeyondWiz. Now, depending on what model you've got, the next folder is going to identify what model you're upgrading. So for the BeyondWiz U4, it's a U4 folder, which makes sense, obviously. It's not going to make sense when I tell you the rest of them, but a U4 folder is what you want to see. Okay, for the... Um, T3, you're going to see a folder called HDX, so Hotel Delta X-Ray. For the T2, you're going to see a folder called HDE2, so Hotel Delta, Delta Echo and the number 2. And for the T4, you're going to see HDP, so Hotel Delta Papa. Okay, so they're what you're going to see in the next folder, and they identify what you're using. If you've done the first, if you've downloaded the right file in the first place, it's just going to be there. You don't have to change any names or anything. The BeyondWiz folder is the one that you need to get across. So that's all set up right to work now. So what we need to do now is we need to eject the stick um, and then we take it over to to the, the product that we're updating. Now there's some simple rules when when updating that, that we need to follow. So so the, the easiest thing to do is you head over to your, your your PVR and you switch it off at the rear. All our PVRs have a rear cutoff switch, so you just switch it off at the rear of the box. And you need to make sure that there's no other USB devices connected. So these could include a Wi-Fi dongle, a USB tuner, um, external hard drive, anything like that. We just want to take out because that could, could interfere with the upgrade process. So we just want to make sure we take those out. So then you get your USB stick and you can place it in the front USB port. All our units have a front port behind the front flap, which is probably easiest to access. Um, if not, you can use the rear USB ports. It doesn't matter what USB ports you use. Once you put that stick in, you switch it on at the rear. Now the U-Series and the T-Series are going to work a bit different. The T-Series is going to come up with a message on the display if your unit's got a display. The T2 doesn't, obviously. Um, it'll also give you information on your TV screen um, to follow. Um, basically, it'll tell you to press the up arrow to start the upgrade process. So it'll, it'll identify that it's found a, a firmware upgrade and if you want to upgrade to press the up arrow. Now this only lasts on the screen for um, about six to eight seconds, I think, from memory. Um, so you've got to be pretty quick. So 
so just keep an eye on that and make sure when you press the up arrow it's got to be on the front of the box on the front panel okay so on the t-series and the the, the the on the t3 and the t4 it's the front touch up arrow and on the t2 it's the actual physical up arrow button on the front panel so you've got to press that so with the with the t2 um, if you don't want to wait for that message to come up on the screen of your TV, you'll basically see when you plug in the USB stick and switch it on the back, the power light will come on and begin to blink on and off. That's giving you the same sort of message that that, that upgrade's been found. So as soon as you see that to start to blink on and off, you can press that up arrow straight away then. Now with the U series, it doesn't come up with a message on the TV screen at all. It's just on the front display. And instead of the up arrow, it's going to ask you to press the power button. The reason is that the, the U series has only got a front power button, which is a front touch power button. So that'll come up with a message on the screen. And again, you'll see that power button flash on and off. That means it's a found, found the upgrade. And then you press that power button to start the upgrade. Once the upgrade started, you'll see on the t on the TV screen of your C T series, it'll take you through a whole lot of information to say upgrading, do not remove stick, yada yada, uh, flashing, you know, bootloader flashing this, that, flashing the other. Um, on the U series, the U4, it's just going to show you on the front screen. It's going to go through a process of of upgrading, you know, flashing bins or you know different things that you're not meant to understand, but it's going to go through. With the T series, when it's finished, it's going to give you a message to that the 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 upgrade's finished and to remove the USB stick and press the power button you do this on the U series it's not going to give you a message it's actually just going to reboot now when it reboots again after it does the upgrade it's almost it's going to go through the process again it's going to say it's found an upgrade press the power button but you've already done the upgrade so you just want to ignore this after about eight seconds it's going to disappear and it's going to boot into the setup wizard so just pull the USB stick out at that stage so when you don't when you reboot again it doesn't go through that process again um, and then yeah, just follow the prompts through through the setup wizard. As I say, when you're doing a major upgrade or if you're upgrading because there was issues with your box previously, if you've created a backup before and it asks you, do you want to restore from backup, make sure you choose no. Okay, it's really important when you're going from a, say a 16.1 to a 17.5 series that you don't restore because it's going to cause problems because basically the firmware's evolved so much um, that it might not work if you on you know whatever you've backed up before. So again, that won't delete your recordings. Don't worry about that. They're still all going to be there. It's just going to have to do it, set up your timers and so forth again. Okay, so on our website, if any of this, all of this stuff is in writing. So if you go into each particular uh, product, you'll see that there's a how to upgrade firmware via USB. Um, there's not one for the U4 at the moment. By the time I put this video up, I promise I'll make sure that there's one there. Um, but yeah, you can just click on that and it's basically just a... Um, at everything that I've just told you um, in writing in an easy to follow step guide. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Any issues, just lodge a support ticket at our website but um, or visit our forum. Um, but yeah, all the best. Thanks.